Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into some Animal Crossing here on Nintendo GameCube. Uh, it's March 9th. Is that true? I don't know where my... Yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. I was say, I'm not sure where my clock is actually at right now. Uh, it's been a week since I played last. Actually, well, more than a week. About two weeks since I played last. Uh, which could be problematic in a number of ways. Mostly weeds and cockroaches. And my villagers hating me slightly more than they usually do. Um... But we'll see. We'll see. So it is officially March now, though. I missed Festivale altogether. You guys know how excited I was for Festivale. Missed it all together. I don't remember how or why. The 28th. I I've been redoing my like my YouTube my YouTube studio. Duh. Uh, I've been re redoing my streaming and recording studio area. Um, and it's not quite done yet. Plan on, uh, I plan on revealing that. Um, it's grass, it's green. It's grass. It's green here in Animal Crossing already. Which is incredible. It went from snowy with, like, greenish trees. Now I feel like it's, like, full-blown spring. Spring has officially sprung. Let me check my mail. Um, but yeah, the, the studio is, like, halfway complete. I'm literally just shifting from here to over there. But, to a bigger couch, basically. Uh, which would allow for better... I want to say better comfortability. Comfortability, if that's even a word. Um, but also better angles so I can zoom the camera out and get a, a more of a wide shot for, like, my, my Nintendo, uh rewards unboxing reviews and whatever um you can't hold any more letters want to throw some old ones away mm. not right now why do i have so much mail dude bob sent me a, a mint so many people sent me letters that's the problem that i've got to mail out Alright, well, let's get through the garbage mail first. Cool. My house looks like a warehouse. Got it. Crap. What else is new? Ava. First of all, I never realized there was paper that was, like, see-through like this. Like, around the perimeter there? That's kind of cool. Kind of weird at the same time. Dear John, I know this is sudden, but I had to leave the village. I don't know where I'm headed, but don't worry. I'll get by somehow. Thanks for all you've done for me. Farewell, Ava. Ava was a chicken, right? I think. I don't remember who Ava was. Okay, so we got fossils. Dinosaur egg. Prezi. But it's trash. Other museum. Trillabyte trash. And last but not least, we have more trash. Or is this one can actually a thing? Triceratel. I don't remember what kind of Triceratops body part I need. But I think I do need a Tricera part. That might be the exact same one as we got last episode, which was a Tricera something. We either need a Tricera tail or a Tricera torso, I believe. And I believe we got the opposite of those. Whatever we need, we got the opposite. So if we needed a, a torso, we got a tail. If we needed a tail, we got a torso last episode. I'd like to believe that this is the opposite of that, but we'll see. Okay, so we got a letter from Tabby, Mint, Wolfgang, and Bob. Curious. Oh, their birthday presents. I forgot that it was my birthday and anybody here actually cared about that. So yeah, Festival was two days after my birthday, which that might have been the thing. Like, 
Goomba, calm down. Come here. Yeah, go lay down. Stop running in circles. My cat's losing his mind. Um, yeah, being the, being two days after my birthday, it might have been a thing. That would ex- maybe I did something all day and I it, I don't remember. There's something came up on Festivale. That's all I know. Something came up on Festivale. I didn't play and I'm disappointed by it. Anyway, uh, Tabby says, "Dear John, happy birthday! I got you this great bat brella, the bat bra bit, the bat brella, bat bra 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 bra, <laughs> bat brella. Hope you like it. Oh, I will, because now I can be Batman." <laughs> Dear John, well, don't that don't that beat all? You got yourself a birthday. You know, you're always hooking me up with favors, so I went and hooked you up with a nice present. Enjoy from Wolfgang. It's cool that on, on your birthday, it's like the one time of the year um, when your neighbors actually respect you and actually show some appreciation for all that you actually do. That's pretty cool. So there's my Batbrella, right? Batbrella. <laughs> I want to try that on then. Uh, and this one wasn't specified what it was, correct? It's a number one shirt. That's gonna get chucked right away. Thanks, Wolfgang, for nothing. My Goomba! You just cut my video feed, dude. Chill. This cat is a menace. I don't even know what he could possibly be hitting. Like, I don't know if he's hitting a power strip or what he's doing. But... Okay. Happy birthday, John. You're always doing such nice things for me, so I've taken the time to send you this birthday gift for you. From Mint. Okay, what is it? I was gonna say, if it's another Batbrella. So, can we talk about how Tabby's the best present so far? I don't have any room for this one. Uh, Dear John, happy B-Day. It always brings a smile to my face when one of my best friends has a birthday. From Bob. Okay. Well, now at least we have room to get the rest of the mail out of my, po out of my mailbox, right? It's from Tom Nook. Tycho Drum. Okay. What's on the bulletin board? Free red corner for whoever finds it. I was... You see, this one. This one, I was tricked into this one on the 23rd. And it just turned out to be fake. Uh, go dig in the E acres. You snooze, you lose. Peanut. That was today. The E acres. Maybe I'll give it one more shot. I have, oh jeez, look at all the weeds. No. <laughs> Spring has sprung and so have the weeds. The weeds are everywhere. You take two weeks off. You take two weeks off and this is what you come back to. Your town goes from beautiful animal town to full-blown I am legend with overgrown everything. Okay, so where's the Triceratops at? Is this the Triceratops? Okay, I lied. I don't need anything Triceratops related. Oh, uh, I need the Stego head. What is going on? Every time my cat walks past, my feed cuts out. That's not good. <laughs> That's problematic. Anyway, so these can all be sold. Let me run up to, uh... Let me run up to Tom Nook. I guess I'll go the long way and pick some weeds as I go. To get this town looking a little bit less apocalypsy. Or post-apocalyptic. Get it, dude. The weed is right on the... Right on the edge there. Let's just see if there are any 
scallops. There's a white scallop. But again, I don't think that counts as a scallop. I'm not even sure... I forget. Is Rover... Not Rover. Oh, Gulliver's here today, though. Is, uh... Pascal even in this game? I feel like I always say that, and then I find him, and then I'm not prepared. Oh my god, they're all down here. Alright, so X marks the spot. Wait. Well, one of those might be the, the buried treasure. The red corner, or whatever. Right? Because that's also E. It's the E acre. So nobody dig that up until I get down there. Stay away, everybody. I'm just going to sell some crap. Oops, I always do that. I think that I have to click to get into the door rather than just walking into it. Okay, Tom Nook. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sell you all this crap. Not the Batbrella. All that crap. Okay. Deal. Any artwork? I know you have the Taika drum or whatever. Not really interested in that, though. I'll come back for, uh... Wallpaper. I'm looking for solid wallpaper, right? Crap. See what Bob got me as a Prezi. It's another umbrella. Alright, now come back right away. I don't know why everybody thought to get me umbrellas, but it's not a great birthday gift. Except for the Batbrella. I'll take that one, uh, happily. Because it's either going to go one of two ways, right? The Batbrella either is either going to be Batman-esque. It's going to be, like, bat-shaped. Uh, or it's going to be, like, a Halloween type of thing where it's, like, orange with bats around it, right? Or, like, black with, like, white bats around it. Or white with black bats. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be kind of, like, Halloween-esque. And, uh, I'm on board for that, too. So, let's find out. That's the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. How, how can you even call that a Batbrella? Are there bats on that? No. <laughs> Looks like I'm just going to a funeral. That's... That's lame. That was so disappointing. I can't even tell you... I knew, I knew in my heart that it wasn't going to be bat-shaped. I wished it was, but I didn't expect it to. I was hoping for, like, the Batman crest uh, emblem to be the shape of it, but I knew that wasn't going to happen. I knew this game was not, you know, capable enough to have a full-blown shaped Umbrella. It was going to be circular. I knew that. I came to grips with that. I was hopeful, but I came to grips with it. But that was wildly disappointing. There's the red corner. Okay, so the red corner, this treasure hunt did actually exist. So that's cool and refreshing uh, change of pace. I wasn't just getting ripped off. Help me. Please help me. I'm trying. If you'd wake up, I'd help you. <laughs> Trying to remember, what is Gulliver all about in this game? I forget. What, what the? Oh, yeah. I slipped and fell off the boat again. Again. What I mean to say is, I was pi- Oh, oh, it was pirates. I was pirates. <laughs> it was pirates. Or sharks, again. Uh, something like that. What do you mean, are you a real sailor? Of course I'm a real sailor. Would I dress this way if I weren't? Although, it is a pretty cute outfit, isn't it? But that's not why I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it because it's part of a time-honored tradition. We sailors are a proud and noble breed, men of the sea, rough and rugged, with an impeccable fashion sense. But that doesn't enter into it. Oh, so you're sorry now? 
So you're sorry now? Forget about it. Put your mind at ease. Yes, let's move on. You saved my life, and I must thank you for saving me. I buttered this off a seedy-looking merchant when I was visiting a far-off port town. You won't find another like it anywhere. At least, I don't think you will. Okay, so yeah, I forgot. In this game, he just gives you crap, uh, and you don't actually have to do anything about it. He just gives it to you. There's no, like, guessing what country he just came from or anything like that. It's just like, here's some crap. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> you know, I'm just a rolling stone, never knowing where I'm going. Hmm, wait a sec. Maybe that's why I don't swim so well. Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is... The guys, my shipmates, they think that maybe if they tie me to the mast, I won't fall off the boat as much. So with any luck, maybe I won't be washing up on your beach too often. At least not for a little while. Thanks for the whole saving my life thing. May your sails stay full and your socks stay dry. Okay. So I'm going to continue the hunt for scallops, I think. And then I'll dig up fossils as they go as well. My cat is getting dangerously frisky again. And that makes me nervous that he's going to cut underneath. Okay, that time he cut underneath my uh, recording station and didn't cut the power, so that's good. Um, I need to check, actually... As soon as I'm done with the scallop, the scallop endeavor. Ooh, fossil. <laughs> so easily distracted. Um, I do need to check my Critterpedia and see if March brings any new uh, bugs or fish to catch. Because I'm hope I'm both confident and hopeful that it will. I would say if Tortimer's down here, I'm not going to talk to him. Because the last time I talked to him, he told me to do the whole lighthouse thing. And I gave up on that after like a day. I consciously gave up on it after like a day. Not even just like, oh man, I messed up. It was like, I consciously was like, I could go do that right now, but I'm not going to. And I just chose not to. I hear what appears, or what sounds like a mole cricket. I was gonna say, I'm seeing lots of common butterflies and yellow butterflies. So I wanted to make sure I do, in fact, have both of those. Uh, throw that away. Okay. Just attach those. I'm gonna mail those out, because I can only mail out three a day anyway. Oh my god, look at all the weeds. Every time I think that my town is relatively clean, I walk into the new a new acre and it just goes off the rails. Crap. This building you do actually have to press A uh, to get into. But I still s did it too early and swung my shovel at the door. Alright, mail a letter. No multi select. Gotta do it one at a time. There's number two. And number three. <laughs> nope, that's it. You can't handle more than that, Pally. Or the museum can't handle it. One of the two. All I know is I send out more than... More than three letters. More than three fossils and whatever over three just never comes back. So. We're not playing that game again. The Arc de Triomphe. That's an interesting find in the dump. <laughs> okay, I'm going to...
I guess, check my, uh, Critterpedia in just a second here. I'm just picking some extra weeds. Ava was a chicken, right? I don't know why I just randomly, oh, well, I saw a chicken, that's why I thought about it, but, um, I'm trying to remember Ava. Remembering Ava. I don't remember her, though. I feel like there are some villagers here that I've talked to just enough that they'll probably never move. And that's upsetting because a lot of them I don't want here. I mean, Bertha I'm indifferent about. But I would have preferred, like, Dizzy to stay. Tabby and Bob, I want them to stay. Um... Jay, Jay can stay. I don't know. I love squirrels in real life, but I feel like mint is... I mean, I feel like the squirrels uh, in this game are a little bit too sassy for my liking. They all kind of hate me. So if they want to all just pack up and leave, I'd be totally fine with that. I guess it has nothing to do with their breed. It's just... A trend I've noticed. Wolfgang is also a jerk, though, so Wolfgang can just pack up and leave as well. Red corner, Anka Triumph, a Sharp Umbrella, Red Tie Dye. I think that Arc de Triumph was, uh, worth a pretty penny. I can't quote, I can't give you a real number, don't quote me on that, but I feel like that was probably the thing that brought, brought in most of those 4,000-something bells. Um, let's check my critter, my critterpedia now, shall we? Where are we at? So let's start with fish, because it just appears that there are a lot of fish that are missing. Um, fandom, I'm probably not gonna catch any of these things, I just wanna see, I wanna see if March brings any new fish or bugs, I'm probably gonna do this in all of the different games, because I've been waiting so long for March, because I know, I knew, uh, December, January, and February largely had the exact same, uh, fish and bug availability, so March is like the first springish month, so... You have no new notifications. I don't care, fandom. Just get me to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Just take me to Animal Crossing. <laughs> okay. Fish. Animal Crossing. Boom. Let's do it. <laughs> so I guess I should just scour things for... Because it's not super user-friendly. Let me just scour for any fish that just appear this month. The bitterling went away this month, which I'm not opposed to at all, because caught too many of those already. The loach came out, but I don't care about that either. Okay, so we got three fish right here that just came out. Got the cherry salmon, the rainbow trout, and the large char. So we got... Two river fish. Actually, three river fish. Two river fish and, like, a waterfall fish. So those are all out now. And then the barred knife jaw. Which we've already caught, so I'm not super worried about that one. Um, okay. So we have our, we have our goals for this month. We have the cherry salmon, the rainbow trout, and the large char. So it's a size two and a size four uh, in the in the river, and then um, a size four waterfall. Let's do some fishing, shall we? I don't know what a size two is. Is this a size 2 or is it a size 1? How would I ever know? Let's find out. A crucian carp is what? 
I assume that's probably a size one. Oh no, okay, so that is a size two. Okay. So that's the correct size for one of the fish. Although this feels smaller. That's a loach. The loach approach is back. Get rich or die trying. The loach approach. <laughs> That's a callback to a very old, or not a very old, but a, an older episode, probably from like last year. I was gonna say, that feels like a waste of time, and it's a good old tin can. It looks like a can of cat food, too. So I'm looking at like Tabby, and uh, I think Bob is also a cat. I'm looking at those fellas, and ladies and gentlemen. Um, and pointing fingers of blame as to how that tin can, that open tin can got in the river. This looks like a size two. It's a, uh, a bitterling? Ah, uh, sorry, a pale chub. Right, the bitterling went away, right? I think. The bitterling went away this week. Or this month. Are you a size 4? Doesn't matter if you're not gonna bite. Doesn't matter anyway. Are you a size 4? Can you bite, please? If you're a size 4, can you bite, please? Why is this fish the biggest jerk in the game? Bop it. Right on the nose. What kind of maneuver did I just bear witness to? What's, what kind of nonsensical fish maneuvering it's looking at it to? You need to get away, bird. This is angering me. This is angering me quite a bit. I feel like it is a size 4, and it's just being a jerk at this point. What? How do you catch a fish that looks at your bobber and ignores it? Like, blatantly ignores it? Look at this! Look at this! You can't do that! I was gonna say, how spot-on accurate does this have to be? It was a boot the whole time. I quit. That's the end of the game. That's the end. It's the end of the day. Alright. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Nintendo Beast. <laughs> Subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Uh, smash the like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>